Hello guys, welcome to EGTV Presents Tech View, another episode. In this episode, I'll show you how you can change local admin password for Windows Server. How you can reset local admin password. Listen carefully. Local admin password reset. That means whenever you create or deploy a new Windows Server machine, it can be Windows Server 2012, 2016, 2019, 2022, any kind of operating system, any kind of version. But the first steps, when you after you install the operating system, by default is created a username, which is called administrator. And that's called a local administrator. And that time, the local administrator already created by default, you just need to be assigned a password for that. So if you send the password, in the beginning, so each and every individual server has a local admin password. So what organization actually do, they have a master local admin password. They set it when they deploy the machine, right? So all, think about some organization XYZ has um, 700 server, 700 Windows server. That means they have a 700 local administrator all the administrator name is same administrator and maybe password also same but the thing is what is the problem why you need to change the local admin password because of the security reason because of the security reason you need to change the password for example in your organization one of the administrators is working last uh, like say more than six months so after six months that administrator uh, leave the organization or not only that that administrator maybe five administrators leaving the organization in that case you will have a security threat because they know the password right so you should change that password and also not only the, the password the username by default is administrator and that's also vulnerable because this is also a security threat, security risk. So you need to rename the administrator, the default username, which is administrator. You need to rename it. So I will show you how you can reset password and also you can rename the user. So I'll show you both settings in one GPO. And through the GPO, you will be changed all the Windows Server together at a time. So that means what? You just need to create the GPO policy for password reset and also rename the administrator user. Local, not only, not an administrator, you have to say local administrator. So if you have a 700 server, you will have a 700 local administrator with local administrator password. So if you want to change that password or rename the user manually, you have to log in 700 times. Instead of logging 700 times to 700 server, not only that, you have to reset, rename, you have to type whatever the change, and then also you have to type the password. So 700 times you have to log in, 700 times you have to rename, 700 times you have to provide the password. Instead of doing all those manual effort, just for like with just one simple GPO policy with two settings, you will be able to like apply to all 700 machine at the same time. And if you link that GPO policy with all 700 computer object, through your Active Directory OU, within two hours, without doing anything, within two hours, that's going to be applied to all of your server. What do you think? Which way you're supposed to go? Definitely through the group policy. Let's look at uh, in practical. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you. Okay. So this is my vCenter and this is my jump machine. You can do the RDP or you can try from the uh, VMware vCenter um, from the web browser. So how are you gonna log in there? 
send controller to delete, then you're gonna see is looking for ELS slash administrator. That means this administrator is a domain administrator, but I'm now I'm talking about the local administrator. If you wants to join any machine with a local administrator, if you wants to log in as a local administrator, then how are you gonna log in there? Go to the other users and then you have to type the whole computer name. So the computer name is ELS, this one, ELS, VDW, VA, Virginia, JUMP, JUMP, 01, BA. So it's in Virginia data center, that's why the name is like that. So this is the server name. And then you have to save this slash and then administrator. Administrator. You see, when I use this slash immediately, it says sign into the server name automatically here. So this is the process. This is the process. And then you have to provide the password, local administrator password. Okay, I'll show you, I, I just changed this password just to show you guys. Say for example, this local administrator, Password, think about all 700 machines. Password is welcome one to three dollar. And username is administrator, right? So that's how you're gonna log in, right? You see, I'm able to log in as a local administrator. So, like it can be an organizational policy or it can be a security policy, like you, you must need to change every six months or every three months. It depends on your organization. What is the policy? So if your company required, okay, local admin password needs to be reset every three months. It doesn't matter. You just need to change it. So through the script, we're gonna reset the password and through the GP policy, we're gonna rename the, rename the administrator, local administrator, right? So both we're gonna, we can, we'll do together. And I'm gonna show you here, computer management. If you go to the computer management, you can you can check and you can see. See here, admin. username is administrator and the password, the one I type, right? That's how I'm logged in. So I'll show you now, I'll do that change to the GPU policy. So what's GPU policy? Nothing, so I'm just, I'm, I'm going to show you here, say not on the note. Okay, sorry, not here. Let's say uh, in this, this is my domain controller. So on the domain controller, I'm going to open a notepad. Okay, so the only one thing you need to type Net space user space, then what should be your username, administrator username? It can be administrator, it can be something, whatever, right? And what should be the password? So right now I logged in here. How I logged in here? I type administrator because I didn't rename it yet. And also I logged in as a welcome one to three dollar, right? Which you all you guys already saw it. And now I will rename the administrator with this. And also I'm gonna set this password. So let's do it to the group policy. So this one, this is just one line script. That's it, it's simple, right? But if you want to apply as a script through the group policy, you have to save it. So file, I'm gonna save it where? I'm going to save it on the desktop of my Active Directory machine, or maybe on your jump, whatever you want. It, it's up to you. File, save as, and then say all files, and make sure where I'm going to down. I can save on desktop. Okay, the name is local. Okay, I say have a, some nice name. Hello, local ADMIN password. 
reset but after that you have to use dot bat batch file script file batch file dot bat okay and save so i just saved you see here it's saved here all right i'm going to close it and now i'm going to apply it so i'm going to create the same kind of policy here group policy right click on it new the policy name i say local admin password is it local admin password reset policy right local admin password reset you can say and rename administrator whatever you want okay rename administrator oh sorry i think i missed a spell it is a re rename rename administrator okay so i just name it and now i need to edit it right edit so edit means going to create a big screen okay go to the profiles window settings and then security settings then go to the local policy security options and then you're going to see account rename administrator account i'm going to rename it So what should be the administrator name, user, what I created? Which is this one, right? Test, right? Log on. So administrator name means, means this name. Computer management. That means after I applied the GPA policy, this username will be changed which one this one you're not going to see any more administrator you're going to see that one you're going to see this one test logon instead of administrator you're going to see test logon and test logon will be your new local administrator building administrator not only local administrator, it's a building administrator because we are just going to rename it because of the security right and at the same time we are going to reset the password through the policy so this is the policy Right now, we are just working with the rename the test logon, right? T E S T L O G U test logon. So, administrator will be renamed with this one. Apply. Okay. So, this is the one settings we done. We are done. Now, we're going to work with uh, the script, the one we just created for password reset. So, let's go to the script. You see here script under the window settings, there is a called script and go to the startup, uh, startup, double click on it and <clears throat> let's go to show files. There's nothing here. And you can just copy and paste the file here. So I'm going to Where is my file is? Okay, let's minimize this one. Minimize this one and I know this is my file, right? I'm going to copy this file. And this is the policy settings, right? The one I'm doing right now. Just paste it here. So it's going to save. Where is it going to save? You see, you ELS sysball folder is going to save. Policy and this is here. So it's saved. You just paste it there. And you can close it and you can add the file name you can say okay let's see browse yeah you can select this one okay apply and okay so it's already added. If you want to look at, if you want to see it again, double click on it, you're going to see here, show files, files is there, right? So you can close it. And then what you can do, 
on the group policy just here refresh it and then check this one now settings you're gonna see here account renamed is test logon and also the script okay go to the script the script says local admin password reset this one right okay so this is just created it's not linked yet it's not linked yet if you, if i link, linked it it's going to be show here right so now i'm going to link with my computer object here so linked here okay so now if i go here you see this one is linked here local admin password is right so that means our policy is already linked you can refresh, you can refresh, but it's not going to apply immediately. It's not going to apply immediately. If you go to the, uh, so this is a, my jump machine, right? If you go here, um, or you can say computer management and go to the local user, it still is administrator, right? So this administrator will be changed now. I'm going to run a command. You can restart the machine or within two hours it's going to be applied automatically or you can just open CMD command prompt and type. What are you going to type? Type GP update, right? G. Okay, before I do that, let me do one thing. It's going to be make me like, uh, this makes a lot of issues. Software installation, that one. I'm going to un. I'm going to disable this one. Is there anything here? Find okay. installation. Okay, I think I don't have any more. Okay, anyway. So I'm done here. Yeah, let's refresh. Okay. So what do you need to do? Group. Sorry. GP edit. GP. Sorry, sorry, sorry. GP update. GP update slash force. So you have like three options. After you link the GPO within two hours. You can have it within 30 minutes. It depends on if you change the policy by default, it takes two hours to apply your environment. So you have either you have to wait two hours or or maybe you can restart the machine, then you can get an immediate result, or you can run a group uh, um, uh, GP update. So just check the immediate action of your GPU, right? But you cannot, if you have a 700 machine, you cannot like uh, register 700 machine, right? So what are you going to do? We have to wait for two hours, right? And GP will be applied automatically. So let's check it out, this one. GP update force, and you're going to see your administrator will be renamed within short time. It's going to be test logon. You see? It's going to be a magic. Just look at here. Actually, I have some other GPU policies is, is, is causing this issue. Anyway, it's not gonna show you, it's not gonna show for yourself. And here, just refresh it. You see here, test logon, you see? Built-in account administrator. So it's, through the GPU, it's changed. Not only that, not only that, also, it's reset the password. How are you going to prove that? So let's go here and go to my B Center. This is a jump machine. We logged in, right? We logged in here. Oh, sorry. Jump machine, right? Test logon. So I'm going to. I'm going to sign out from here. And I'll show you now login. Okay. 
So jump zero one administrator is not gonna work out anymore. We can try, okay. This is jump administrator, right? And also the password. What is the password? Welcome, one, two, three, dollar, right? You see here? Welcome onto the dollar, right? So username is administrator, welcome onto the dollar, which one is our previous one we logged in, right? Now try with the, the old one, what it says. The password is incorrect, try again. And go here and say, so if you want to log in as a local administrator, you have to type the computer name the way we did this one, right? Or there's another alternative, which is if you say just dot and slash like this, then you're gonna see you are signing to this machine. So you don't need to type it. If you are logging as a, through the web browser, but if you are do RDP in any machine, you have to type the whole name. Okay, now if you say administrator, administrator and you can say uh, the same welcome welcome one two three dollar and try it not it's not working right and then try with the new password what is our new password our new password is this one right P capital at sign SSWRD password test one dollar and exclamatory sign, right? So this is our password. Let's do it with the administrator. Oh no, not administrator actually, because we renamed already, right? We already proved, we already look at there. The administrator is not anymore because it's already renamed. So what is the rename name? Is test log on. But try with the old password. Welcome. One, two, three, dollar. Look at here. And login. Okay. So I'm able to log in with the old password. That means the password policy is not updated. So for password policy, what do you need? GP update is not enough for updating the script. So for is for upgrading script, what do you have to do? You have to wait two hours, or you have to restart the machine. Now I'm going to restart this machine. Say so, um, uh, restart this machine. Restart. Okay, continue. Anyway. So we can we can monitor the machine here from the base center. You see the machine is going to be restart, right? Okay, it's restarting now. You see here, here the status. Also, you can see the status here. So now you can think how it is possible to restart the machine all 700, if I have a 700, if I have a 7,000 machine, how are I gonna restart? But anyway, for Windows, for Windows, um, every month you have to do the patching. So on your patching window, you can change that password in the script and then automatically whenever you do the Windows patching, that times your machine is going to be restart. When if it is restart, then the policy will be applied. So you don't need to manually restart all of them. So the reason we restart, we want to see immediate action actually. Like, like our GPU is applied or not. That's what we are testing. This machine is a little bit slow anyway. Um, but in your environment, it is not gonna be happen. Definitely will have more faster server. I'm talking about your office environment. 
this is my home lab and also like i built this machine in a share storage and that share storage is not that much faster that's why is the machine performance is very slow It's taking longer than usual. It's almost done. All right, it's done. So now again, okay, any other user? So, so you know how to log in as a local user. You have to type the whole computer name, then slash, this slash, and then the username. So the username is test log on. I didn't type the computer name here. I just use dot. I'm getting the this one, right? The local administrator, uh, local uh, server name. But if you because I'm using browser to access this machine. But if you're not using browser, if you're using the RDP session, in that case you have to type the whole computer name and then slash then username. Okay. The password is try with the welcome the old one. What it says, we can check it. Okay, you see here, I type the old password and let's see. It says the username password is incorrect. That means our G, through our GPU policy, it is set the password. So let's, now we're gonna try with this one, right? We set it this password, right? So I'm gonna type this password here with the rename admin test logon. Okay, which is P at sign SSW password. So three dollar bank, sorry, one. So one dollar and accelerator sign. You see, this is the password, right? On, on, in our script. So, okay. Oh, sorry, password test, I forget. P, P, test, one dollar bank, okay. Actually, this is password test. That That's what you see here. Look at here, this, this one and this one. Now it's okay, right? Yes. Yes, I am able to log in, right? So what we did with the GPU policy, we changed, we renamed the administrator. Also, we changed the password. That means we reset the local admin password. So just simple one GPU policy with two settings. That's it. And that's all for uh, this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And also, uh, if you feel like it's a helpful video for yourself and or it, it can be maybe help your uh, coworker or your friends, please share it with them. And also don't forget to make some comments because your comments encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And thank you. Thanks for watching.